YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, your sensei bae, Nelita V. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My gosh, my mind is blown. We have grown to like 7,200 subscribers. My gosh, you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support and the feedback that you give me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you join this squad as well. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And you're probably like, Nalita, what is this? What are you doing? Well, <laughs> hi guys, I just wanted to introduce you to my merchandise babies. These are my stick babies and these are my t-shirt babies, all right? So listen up, I wanna tell you about all the new merch and things that I'm doing. Also, my training program's coming up, but today's video is not necessarily about that. Today's video is a tutorial we are doing a single stick combo you have requested single stick combo so i'm going to give that to you but i also want to tell you a little bit about these so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button follow me on all of my social media and let's get going start the combo I'm gonna tell you about my merch because it's been requested for so long for not only weapons but also merchandise as well I used to have a clothing line back in the day but I'll talk about that later all right so as far as the merchandise I have decided to make sensei bay shirts why because my Instagram started calling me the sensei bay you guys said you wanted t-shirts so guess what I've made sensei bay t-shirts I have a couple different designs coming up as well that's really cool for martial arts and it's gonna drop on my website probably tonight or tomorrow so make sure to check out my website then you've asked me about making weapons so if you see a lot of the weapons that I use on my Instagram like my my nunchucks three sectional staff I feel like I'm talking really fast <laughs> my nunchucks my three sectional staff stuff like that I actually make them myself so instead of selling you guys generic our knee sticks that you can buy online and everybody has the same designs I said that I wanted to do something very special for you, limited edition, handmade, and also kind of flex my artistic muscle, okay, because that's what I went to school for. But um, so what I've done is custom designed every pair of our knee sticks, so not any single pair is the same as anyone else in this world. Plus, I have customized sticks for all of my clients and customers. Look at this, look. You get your initials, cause I, I can't show you it all, look, look. You can get your initials customized on your pair of sticks. So it just makes it even more special. So if you're looking to get your pair of sticks, go to my website right here, shopnelitav.com. Shopnelitav.com. You can get your sticks on there. I'm going to be adding more um, weapons later on and the t-shirts will be up there as well. And I think one of the biggest announcements is that, let me set that down. <laughs> one of the biggest announcements is that I have worked so hard for the last few months putting together a website for you guys to finally train with me. It's nice that I get to do tutorials every now and then, but I like to get really in depth with you. So I have created my website, nalitav.com, where you can get not only your physical, personal training on with me, but you also get nutrition help. So you get nutrition plans, you get workout plans, and I'm adding in the martial arts as well. And that is all launching in eight days. So I would really appreciate your support because you guys have helped us grow, help me grow, um, you know, supporting me as a, as a martial artist, supporting me as a small business. So I thank you guys so much. All my links will be down below, but let's get started on this tutorial. Here I am back in true Sensei Bay fashion. Okay. So listen up guys. Again, as always, make sure that you're safe. You got some space. You're not going to hit anybody. You may hit yourself, but be very careful. And also again, this is my teaching that I've learned growing up and all the instructors that I've come through. So, you know, you can either choose to take it or you can choose to move on. Anyway, so we're going to be using Doce Para system. You know, under the umbrella of Escrima, you hear Kali, you hear Arnis, and then within that, just like language. I like, I like to think about martial arts like language, that there's always different systems depending on where you're from and what school you come under. So the angles that they do may be slightly different, the variations of how you perform things may be slightly different. So we're going to go under the umbrella of Doce Pares right now. And I'm not gonna go in depth into it because that's more for my training side of things. Right now, I'm just gonna show you the single stick combo. It is gonna be a total of five moves, and we'll see, maybe I'll do a bonus at the end, but let's go ahead and just do the five moves first, okay? So again, I'm not explaining or breaking down exactly what it is. I'm just gonna give you the name, and we're gonna perform the move, all right? So you're gonna get into that right fighting stance. So you're into your right fighting stance, facing forward, okay? Always have that checking hand up. Your first two moves is gonna be a downward X downward X pattern. As always, make sure that you're hitting with the blade of your stick, but you want to picture a big X in the air. This is my X right here, okay? So I'm going to slash down on the forehand side and then down on the backhand side. Again, that's forehand, backhand. That's your first two moves, okay? We have a total of five, but these are your first two. One, two. Let's do that again. One, 
two. We're going to perform that two more times. One, two. Notice how I'm turning the body into it as well. Watch my angles. Two. Okay? So now we've got that, but let's do it kind of a medium speed because we want to do everything with a little bit of power. Form first, and then as I always say, what? Speed and power will come. All right? Let's do this three times with a little bit of speed, medium speed. You ready? Let's go. Go. Good. Go. Last one. Go. Very good. So that's your three times, okay? Now we're going to move on. The next move is going to be a planza. Planza is a strike going straight across the body and all the way back in. So I've just finished the second move. From here, I take my stick. I'm slashing across for the planza across the body. Notice how you can see my fist the entire time, okay? So I'm hitting with that blade, and that is the reason why my fist is all the way up. And as I get to the end, boom, it turns and it curves in, okay? So I'm gonna do that one more time. Slash and in. So you gotta be very careful because you don't want to uh, go with the tip of the stick. This is incorrect. If you see me doing this, incorrect. You want to make sure that you're slashing with that blade and all the way back in, okay? So let's try move number three, the planza, three times medium speed. Ready? Go. Oh, yes. That's what you want to hear, the whoosh, whoosh. Ready? Go. Good. Last one. Ready? Go. Very good. So that's your planza. Let's put it together. One, two, and three, okay? Very slowly first. One, two three going across we're gonna do that again downward x one downward x two plunza three okay and remember again i'm going with my right arm so this may be your left arm that you're doing i didn't say that because i had a lot to talk about today i'm going to turn to the side and do the same thing this is my right arm but it could be your left you could do it with whatever side so we're going to start a fighting stance downward x one two and plunza three all the way across Let's try that again. Go. One, two, three. Good. I will try it from this angle so you can see it as well. Into that fighting stance, we're going one, two, three. Plunza across. Yeah? All right, let's do it. One, two, plunza across. Last time from the back angle. Again, I'm going to kind of angle myself so you can see. One, two, three across. I think you got it. Let's go ahead and put it together at a medium speed. Ready? I'm going to face the front and go. One, two, three. Did you get that? Let's try it again. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Even though we're going medium speed, remember always, always try to get that form right. So we don't want to just be going to try to keep up. If you feel like your form is compromised, I always say go a little bit slower. Okay? So we're going to go again. One, two, three across. I'll face this way. Ready? Go. Good. I'll face this way. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Okay. That's the first three moves at a semi-medium speed. Next move is going to be a flywheel. Flywheel is to the top of the head. I'm going to teach this to the side so you can see the angle. Okay. So we've just finished the plaza going across. I'm now again going to take the blade of my stick I'm striking on top of the head. The stick goes all the way out, so strike on top of the head. And then you're slowly, as it comes down, it curves and turns in. And I'm going to tell you now, warning, warning, alarms, warning. Be very careful because you're probably going to end up popping your elbow and it's going to hurt really bad, okay? So go slow on this one, especially on this uh, fourth move, the flywheel. Be very careful, okay? Again, I'm out. Fly well on top of the head, slowly come down, and at the very end you curve, but make sure you check. Check your arm so it doesn't pop you back up. Again, curve, so it's really like a flick of the wrist. You kind of want this to be loose. I, I think of it like, like a tail or a whip that you're whipping out on top of the head. So if I'm going slow, this is the motion that I want. Boom, boom, on top of the head. Let's try that three more times, two more times, one more time. Excellent. That is a flywheel. Let me show you to the front. Same thing. One, two, three. Turn this way. One, two, three. If I turn to the back so you can see the angle. One, two, three. Got that? Flywheel. So let's go 
medium speed, three times flywheel. Ready, go. Yes. Ready, go. Last one. Ready, go. Okay, so that's a flywheel, but now it's time to put it together with all of our moves. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. Let me face the front first. I had to think about it. I was like, let me face the front first. Okay, so into the fighting stance, we're gonna go one from the top, two, three, four. Ooh, hoo, hoo. You see that? How that R, it's all about this R motion, that angle. Let's try it again. Ready? Downward X, go. One, two, Planza three, flywheel four. Again, ready? One, two, three, four. Let me turn to the side. We're gonna do it this way. Get into that fighting stance. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Turn to this side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Kinda got that. Yes? I know you're not there, <laughs> you're like, what? She can't hear me, that's okay. In my head, I'm like, I know you got this. I believe in you, okay? So now we're gonna go at a semi-medium speed. One, two, three, four, okay? Remember, effective, because this is nice that we're just demonstrating in the air right now, I'm practicing in the air, but you always wanna picture an opponent in front of you and where you're striking. So when you're going, picture where you're striking on this person, okay? And then also take this back side note, grip, because I get a lot of questions on grip. Grip is gonna be really dependent upon you. Some people grip all the way to the bottom, some people grip a little bit more at the top. It just really depends on what you're comfortable with. And then also, especially when I'm just demonstrating in the air, I tend to go a little bit higher. So it's your personal preference, okay? Let's go medium speed from the top, all four moves. Almost done, ready? Let's go. X, Ponza, Flywheel. <laughs> you're like, wait, what, was that medium speed? I know. Let's slow it down a little bit more. A little slower medium speed, ready, go. Downward X, one's a flywheel. Back. Let's go. Downward X, one's a flywheel. Back. Downward X, one's a flywheel. One more. Go. Downward X, one's a flywheel. Let's turn it to the side so it gives you a better angle. Fighting stance. Let's go three times for all of the moves. Ready? Go. Downward X, one's a flywheel. Two more. Go. Downward X, one's a flywheel. So whatever way you need to remember it, if you say the names or if you just call out numbers, whatever it is that helps you remember. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's those four moves. We've got one more move to complete our combo. And the last move is gonna feel like it's two, but it's actually one. It's going to be a reverse arco. Yes, reverse, I had to think about it. Is that right? Yes, reverse arco. So we have something called an arco, but now we're gonna do reverse arco. I like to do my accent, reverse arco, okay? So reverse arco. We've just finished our flywheel. With this, it's like a backhand strike. I'm striking down with the backhand, but I'm gonna bring that around again and strike down. It's like a little flick of the wrist, a turn of the wrist. Reverse arco, turn the wrist down. When you go faster, it's not as big as a circle, but you want to practice bigger. I have the philosophy that if you train bigger, it's easier to make it small. But if you train small, it's a lot harder to make it bigger and be like, hey, open your arms wider, jump bigger, jump further, okay? So always work on training bigger, and then we can always bring ourselves back down, okay? So again, reverse arco. We strike here, cross that face, back again. One more time, reverse. Arco. Remember, you want to kind of be loose in your wrists. And when I say loose, that just means flexible. That doesn't mean let go. You still want to hold on to your stick and hold on to your weapon, but you need your wrists to be flexible. Our niece and colleague doesn't work if you have stiff wrists and you're like this. That is a no-no. So you got to work on that wrist flexibility and mobility. Okay, two more. Reverse Arco. I swear to you, I can make a full video on just practicing Arco and Reverse Arco. Last one. Good. So let's do medium speed. Medium speed three times. Ready? Go. Good. Stick up. Go. Last one. Go. Now it is time to put together your full combo. Full combo. Okay? So we're going to go from the top. One, two, three, four. That's five. The reverse arc is one move. That's five. You're finished. You're finished. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again. 
This is your downward X. Planza. Flywheel. Reverse Arco. Yes, one more time slowly. I lost the count. Let's go. Downward X. Planza. Flywheel. Reverse Arco. I'm going to do it to the side so you can see it. Into that fighting stance. Ready? Go. Downward X. Planza. Flywheel. Reverse Arco. Again, ready? Go. Downward X. Planza. Flywheel. Reverse Arco. Before we go medium, you guys are doing phenomenal already. I already know this, okay? But if you're new to our niece or you just haven't done something like this within our niece before, please take your time. Don't worry about going fast. Don't worry about medium speed. I'd rather you go slow, get into the practice, and guess what? Like you said, speed and power will come, okay? So let's go, if you are joining in with me, medium speed. We're gonna go from the top at five. Ready? And go. Downward, X, Planza, Flywheel, Reverse Arco. Whew. Ready? Go. Good. Go. Yes. Three times. You guys got this. Don't sweat it. If you hit yourself, it happens sometimes. Had to pull those up. <laughs> Ready? And go. Downward, X, Planza, Flywheel, Reverse Arco. Last one. Yes, you guys, that is it. That is a combo. I'm gonna hold off on the bonus because I feel like this is a lot, especially if you're not used to Dolce Fares or an Arnie's. Take your time. As many years that I've been doing this, I always find something new in what I can do, okay? So just know that there's always new discoveries. I can go through the basics. I always love the basics first. Go through the basics because there's always something new to discover. And then you're gonna start to pick up that speed as you go. All right, squats, we have just finished your combo. Great job. I'm sure you guys all picked it up. Like I said, take your time on everything that you do. It's not about going fast and being flashy if it's not effective. That's the biggest thing is technique needs to be there and it needs to be effective. Then you can add in all the glitz and glamour that you want. I really appreciate you guys joining me on this journey and hope that you do go to the website, get yourselves a pair of our knee sticks and maybe pick up some merch. That way you guys can fully practice and learn the moves with me. If you have any other questions, concerns or even like you know ideas for other videos let me know down below in the comments and make sure to follow me on all of my social media because i've got a lot of stuff going on for you guys a lot of announcements coming up and i'm working really really hard but i thank you for your continued support and i will see you later on the next video bye